Hi guys, it's Dr. Saru. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. We talk everything alternative medicine and in addition to anything that's cool in medicine and the common ailments that are normally within us or with us. So welcome for today's topic. We're going to be talking about the mango fly or maggot infestation in skin, commonly known in, uh, in a medical term as cutaneous myasis. If you've never heard about this, don't worry because I'm about to educate you on some cool stuff. Karibu sana. So what is uh, cutaneous meiosis? It's basically a uh, maggot underneath your skin. How does that come about? One, we have to know what causes this. The most common insect or fly that has been, um, has been known to cause this all the time, or not all the time, has been known to cause this, is the mango fly, commonly known as Putsi or tumble fly. Uh, what happens is the mango fly lays its eggs in a place where it has damp or sometimes in soil that has a scent of urine or feces. And when that, uh, when the, the mango fly lays its egg there, what happens next is the eggs take time and then they hatch into larvae. When they hatch into larvae, uh, now they burrow in our skin. It's normally very painless. They burrow in our skin and they start to grow into a maggot. That takes about two to three weeks in our skin. Um, and then after that, of course, an adult, and then the cycle continues on and on. You ask yourself, where are these flies found? They're mostly found in tropical regions. In our setting, they're found in Uganda, they're found in uh, Tanzania, they're found in Kenya and South Africa. So, um, now that we know where they're found and their life cycle, you'd ask yourself, how would I know that I have this? Eh? So the first uh, sign is you'll feel pain, uh, that particular area where the maggot is growing. And then other than the pain, it will start to swell definitely as the maggot continues to grow, eating your subcutaneous uh, tissue. Um, then the next thing is redness uh, or yellowness. It depends on uh, when you notice there's something actually growing on your skin. There's normally a tiny black dot on it. That tiny black dot is where gaseous exchange happens for that particular, for the maggot. So, uh, another thing is a blister-like uh, lesion or a boil-like lesion. We've all had boils at one point in our lives. And then there's normally itchiness. The other thing which is normally very, 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 very um, irritating is the sensation of if something is under your skin. So sometimes you can just feel the sensation. Sometimes you might actually see the maggot wiggling around. Um, if you have many of those maggots in your body, assuming maybe your all upper body or your back has it, you might experience things like fever or tachycardia. That means your heart racing very quickly or faster. So uh, those are the signs and symptoms. For treatment, the options we have is hydraulic uh, expulsion, which normally you inject lidocaine or epinephrine, and with that pressure, when you're putting it in, it will pop out. The other thing is suffocating and pressure. Of course, you suffocate first, you put an occlusive, something like petroleum jelly or wax on that black thing I told, and then now, poof, pressure, you remove it again. The other thing, if it's just a small one or it's just a tiny bit, you can just do the squeezing and get it out in yourself at home. But uh, of course, if there are many, you have to come in and then we'll do the procedure for you. Uh, we, make, we want to make sure that it's as painless as possible and also that you get aftercare. If you had so much of it, you'll need antibiotics after, after all of them have been removed, yeah? The other thing now we have to learn is how to prevent getting them or how to prevent having a recurrence. Uh, as I told you, they normally in the, the eggs are normally hatched in um, soil which has a scent of um, urine or feces. So if you uh, hang dry your 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 
you you air dry your clothes outside sometimes they may happen to fall and when they fall that is when you'd realize you can carry eggs in the clothes and you can wear and then you get the the worms eh? or the maggot sorry so one of the things that you can do to prevent is make sure your environment is always clean or fumigated also helps and the other thing always iron on high heat your clothes before wearing them especially the ones you just um took from the, the i mean for, took outside from the hanging uh, line until next time i hope this video was actually very informative and you learned a few things and tips on how you can actually remove the maggots and you shouldn't be scared thinking somebody did something to you until next time it's dr saru and be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms at dr saru cynthia until next time love and love